Right guys, so as I showed you in last week's video, I'm playing my first ever 25k futures tournament. Now I'm obviously starting off in the qualifying draw, which means I need to win two rounds to get through to the main draw to play for my first ATP points. So the tournament started off with a walkover, which luckily for me meant that I was already through to the second round of qualifying and meant that I only had to win one match to get through to the main draw to play for my first ATP point. Now this was my opponent, a Greek player who was seeded, I believe, in the qualifying draw, who already was around 250 ITF pro ranking in the world. Now as well, if I were to win this match, I would get three ITF pro circuit points. Now the difference between these pro circuit points and ATP points is that you can only get them in the qualifying section of 25K and 15K futures tournaments. In the entry list, they allow you to place higher than people with no ranking or a national ranking but below people with an ATP ranking so it's a first step to getting into more tournaments down the line so this match was super important. So let's take a look at how the day went. I put in some slightly extended highlights so I hope you enjoy. Right from the beginning of this match I knew it was going to be a tough and grueling battle. My opponent was a very very consistent player, a veteran on the kind of ITF future circuit having played many many more tournaments than I have. I had a conversation with him before the match and he said that he started playing at like 14 years old which I found crazy being my first tournament. His game style was very very consistent, he would play lots of balls especially from the backhand side cross with good depth making me move and at the beginning of this match that was something I wasn't really used to. I was used to more of an aggressive game, a one-two punch like you just saw there and I think it's something that I had to get used to to the beginning of this match and early on I found some trouble just making a few too many unforced errors. I was quite nervous at the beginning of this match obviously playing for three ITF points and a spot in the main draw to play for my first ATP point at the first tournament. There was a little bit of nerves going into this match especially against such an experienced player it was tough managing it. I went down an early break as you can see here two love a chance to go three love down so early on in the match didn't give me much confidence especially as he'd already had one match on these courts and this was actually my first I think looking back at my game right now I'm just playing a little bit too tentatively I need to use the forehand a little bit more because that's one of my biggest strengths, especially on the clay. Try and come to the net, close down the space against a player like this because the more you drag on the points, the more you're playing in his field. And that's where he's going to really start to beat me in the endurance battle and beat me in that type of grind from the back of the court. And that's what I tried to avoid. And I tried to play a bit more margins, but also still being aggressive and trying to come into the net to put him under pressure. And I think during the beginning of this set, it wasn't really working. But as the set went on, it began to work. Somehow I ended up losing that point and I'm a break point down to go 5-1 with him serving for the set. I managed to get myself out of that tricky situation and I think that was a little bit of a turning point in this match. It gave me some good confidence knowing that I've come back from a tough situation and that I, what I was doing was working. Being aggressive, coming into the net exactly like this with my forehand was beginning to work. And as you can see here, being three break points up and eventually getting the break, I knew that I was going to move forward with my momentum and as you can see, go 5-4 up, serving for the set. Yeah. 
So I won the first set, but I wanted to remind you that only 60% of you that watched last week's video subscribed. The best way that you can help out the channel and support me through future Road to 180 p point videos is to subscribe and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Now let's carry on with the highlights. After the first set was finished, they watered the court, swept it. So again, it was, the conditions were like the beginning of the match. They didn't have any new balls, so we were still playing with these old fluffed up balls, which made them extremely slow. Again, suiting more his game style, but I didn't really let that get into my head because I knew I had to be just rock solid. My main aim here, obviously my first match on clay after playing on lots of indoor hard courts, was just to stay strong, be really tough to beat. I wasn't trying to play the best tennis, the fanciest tennis, play loads of backhands really, really deep. I just wanted to shovel the ball in and look for a chance on my forehand to try and be aggressive. And then when that was working, I was winning a lot of the points. From this point onwards, it was a little bit of a dogfight. I broke first, obviously he broke back, and now it's really all about just being mentally strong in your service games. It's so tough to serve it out on these courts, especially because they're super slow. So many breaks, so it was all about just keeping your head focused and trying to get the break and then hold serve and serve it out for the match. Ah! <laughs> 
I was coming to the net a lot in this game and it was working but eventually costing me the two game points that I had and I ended up getting broken here and then losing the next service game to love so it shows you the momentum shifts there are at this level of tennis how it affected me mentally and how a bit of luck as you just saw goes the opponent's way and suddenly you're 5-4 down and back under the pressure from being so close to being what 5-3 up on serve. So we're into a tiebreak in the second set. Am I able to manage to hold my nerve and close it out to go 7-6, or is my opponent going to fight back and take me to a third set tiebreak? So after a solid back end to the tie break, my opponent takes the second set, 7-6. Now it's all down to a match tie break to 10 points. I haven't had much luck this season so far with match tie breaks. Will this one be any different? I'll let you watch, let you enjoy, and hopefully get the win.
Yes, come on, come on. And after a 47 shot rally, match point number one rolls around. So I was super happy with my performance. I managed to grip my teeth and win in a tough battle in the heat through two and a half hours was the length of the match. I was super happy and super proud of myself for winning. It means I now have three ITF Pro Circuit points and I'll be around 1,040 in the world on the ITF rankings. Next week, I'm gonna fight for my first ATP point against the world number 511, Johannes Hartes, in the first round of the main draw. So make sure that you turn notifications on to be notified when that video comes out. Trust me, you don't wanna miss it. And I'll see you guys in next week's video.